as they head down towards the final flight. It's Ch Churchtown Ruby's in front for Jack Foley and Declan Quealy as they come to the last. Churchtown Ruby, a little bit awkward at it, but lands a length and a half in front of Tudor Manor staying on towards the inside but it's Churchtown Ruby's in the front who's going to win by a length Churchtown Ruby by a length at the end from Tudor Manor in second third was Freddie Robdahl four behind those Milan Echo and fifth staying on a little bit towards the finish was Brown Monday as they head down towards the final flight it's Ch Churchtown Ruby's in front for Jack Foley and Declan Quealy as they come to the last Churchtown Ruby a little bit awkward at it but lands a length and a half in front of Tudor Manor staying on towards the inside, but it's Churchtown Ruby's in the front who's going to win by a length. Churchtown Ruby by a length at the end. From Tudor Manor in second, third was Freddie Robdahl. Four behind those Milan Echo and fifth staying on a little bit towards the finish was Brown Monday. Moonlit Sea tries to stay on behind those as they come to the second last. Stilliker. Lands in the lead by half a length to break in second. Third on the outside is Moonlight Sea, but heading between the final two flights, it's Stilliger who's moved on and gone on by a length and a half to Brega trying hard in second. Moonlit Sea on the outside. Down to the final flight, it's Stilliger with the advantage. Stood off at lands two lengths in front of He's Leading Me On, who's rallying in second. But as the race up towards the finish, it's Stilliger by a length to He's Leading Me On. Stilliger holds on by a half a length in the end from He's Leading Me On second. Moonlit Sea and Brega third and fourth. Clear of Caradaddy and hard target. 55 cent. Places number two, one euro and ten cent. Moonlit Sea tries to stay on behind those as they come to the second last. Stilliker lands in the lead by half a length to break in second. Third on the outside is Moonlight Sea, but heading between the final two flights, it's Stilliker who's moved on and gone on by a length and a half to Brega trying hard in second. Moonlit Sea on the outside. Down to the final flight, it's Stilliker with the advantage. Stood off at lands two lengths in front of He's Leading Me On, who's rallying in second. But as the race up towards the finish, it's Stilliker by a length to He's Leading Me On. Stilliker holds on by a half a length in the end from He's Leading Me On second. Moonlit Sea and Brega third and fourth. Clear of Caradaddy and hard target. But down towards the final flight is McIver who's out in front. Three to four lengths in front is the race down towards the final flight. Frontier General gives chase in second. But at the last, McIver jumps at four to five lengths in front and is going to collect here for Owen O'Grady and Philip Enright. Up to the line, McIver wins readily by about three lengths in the end. From Frontier General second, one more last third for Jutango. Clear of Sarsfield and Breffney Brave. But down towards the final flight is McIver who's out in front. Three to four lengths in front is the race down towards the final flight. Frontier General gives chase in second. But at the last, McIver jumps at four to five lengths in front and is going to collect here for Owen O'Grady and Philip Enright. Up to the line, McIver wins readily by about three lengths in the end. From Frontier General second, one more last third for Jutango. Clear of Sarsfield and Breffney Brave. Miss Louise stays on behind those, but down to the final flight. It's out in front is Kingston Retreat and Danny Mullins for Sean O'Brien. As the race to the final flight, King Street wanders around a little bit into it, but lands with a half a dozen lengths of a lead. And racing inside the final 50 yards, it's Kingston Retreat with Garçon Du coming, home, coming through the chase at home. But Kingston Retreat, the winner from Garçon Du second, Ripstream third, Steppenwolf from Where's Bunny four and five, ahead of Miss Louise in six. Miss Louise stays on behind those, but down to the final flight. It's out in front is Kingston Retreat and Danny Mullins for Sean O'Brien. As the race to the final flight, King Street wanders around a little bit into it, but lands with a half a dozen lengths of a lead. And racing inside the final 50 yards, it's Kingston Retreat with Garçon Du coming, home, coming through the chase at home. But Kingston Retreat, the winner from Garçon Du second, Ripstream third. Steppenwolf from Where's Bunny four and five, ahead of Miss Louise in six. As the race down towards the final fence, it's Me Lighthouse is out in front for Paul Town at the last. Me Lighthouse jumps at three to four lengths in front. Raven Rule on seat at the last. Me Lighthouse is out clear and racing up towards the finish. It's a double for Willie Mullins and Paul Town. And as Me Lighthouse wins by about 10 to 12 lengths in the end from Mighty Magsy second, third influential lady stayed on ahead of Will You Win and Reverse Polar. As the race down towards the final fence, it's Me Lighthouse is out in front for Paul Town at the last. Me Lighthouse jumps at three to four lengths in front. Raven Rule on seat at the last. Me Lighthouse is out clear and racing up towards the finish. It's a double for Willie Mullins and Paul Town. And as Me Lighthouse wins by about 10 to 12 lengths in the end from Mighty Magsy second, third influential lady stayed on ahead of Will You Win and Reverse Polar. Singing banjos back in third, Imperial View four. At the final fence, Bitview Cullen lands two lengths in front of Molina Girl in second, singing banjo back in third and racing up towards the finish. It's a double for Danny Mullins of Tremor this afternoon. Wins this for John Ryan and Bitview Cullen who scores by four lengths in the end from in second place, Molina Girl, third singing banjo, walking the walk four ahead of Imperial View and Shantou Sisu. Singing banjos back in third, Imperial View four. 
at the final fence, Bitview Cullen lands two lengths in front of Molina Girl in second, singing banjo back in third and racing up towards the finish. It's a double for Danny Mullins of Tremor this afternoon. Wins this for John Ryan and Bitview Cullen who scores by four lengths at the end from in second place, Molina Girl, third singing banjo, walking the walk four ahead of Imperial View and Shantou Sisu. coming through on the wide outside as the race inside the final furlong and a half. It's Princess Sophia the leader but Kel Rev now comes to challenge on the outside under Jody Townend as the race inside the final 150 and Kel Rev has quickened up well and gone clear in the closing stages to win this readily and give Willie Mullins a treble and three for the Townend siblings as well as Jody joins Paul on the winner's board today. And coming through on the wide outside as the race inside the final furlong and a half. It's Princess Sophia the leader but Kel Rev now comes to challenge on the outside under Jody Townend as the race inside the final 150 and Kel Rev has quickened up well and gone clear in the closing stages to win this readily and give Willie Mullins a treble. And three for the Town End siblings as well as Jody joins Paul on the winner's board today as Kel Rev wins from Princess Sophia second. In third was State of Honour and they were clear of Bambino and the staying on. Trish knows best.